I just don't want you to delude yourself to think that you can go around, sleep around, and when you're ready, settle down and find that perfect woman for you, that perfect wife. It ain't going to happen. I'm here to tell you, it ain't going to happen. If women are too much of a slut, yeah, and they have sex with too many uh, partners, too many sexual partners in their life, they lose the ability to pair bond. If I had a dime for every time I hear you guys ragging on women for that. But what about you? What about you? Any ladies watching, I ask you to, in respect, tune out because it's a man-to-man -man conversation. Pair bonding. What is it? Men talk about this on the topic of body count, right? We have live streams on ukrainedating.tv. Julia did this uh, uh, on body count. Men in the West, we talk about, you know, women have such a high body count now these days, they can't pair bond. But I've never heard men talk about themselves. And if they sow their oats too much, do you guys think that he, your ability to pair bond is diminished, is hurt? as a result or not the shoe doesn't fit on the other foot so a pair bond it's the strong affinity that develops in some species we're talking about homo sapiens here between a mating pair often leading to the production and rearing of offspring and potentially a lifelong bond so basically what you guys keep saying over and over again is that guys if you're too uh if women are too much of a slut, yeah, and they have sex with too many uh, partners, too many sexual partners in their life, they lose the ability to pair bond. If I had a dime for every time I hear you guys ragging on women for that, but what about you? What about you? Do you think if you have too, too many sexual partners, you will not lose your ability to pair bond with your future mate? with your wife why does why does the shoe not fit on the other foot and of course i lived in ukraine for 6 years so i i shared with you guys dating in ukraine living in ukraine is like shooting fish in a barrel or fishing from a barrel however or fishing with dynamite i never experienced this kind of attention from the female equation in my life I was just an average bloke in Canada, not so special, not so extra good looking, not so ex not so rich, you know, just your average Joe. And um, I, I just, I didn't date a lot. I didn't get a lot of attention, whether it was in younger years or older years. But when I went to Ukraine, I, I, it blew my mind. It absolutely blew my mind. And it was, it was nice. It was a nice stroke to the ego, especially when you're, remember, bankrupt, broke, and homeless. That's how I went to Ukraine, right? Looking for my wife, uh, looking to build my family. It's true. In Ukraine, the opportunity is there for a man to sow his oats in a way that uh, he can't even imagine, in his wildest dreams. Um, but it's a slippery slope, and I want to warn men, it's a slippery slope. And the, the Bible, you know, our big life book cautions us men about the slippery slope. That if we do partake, we will not be able to pair bond. It will hurt our ability. There will be a consequence to this sin. It warns us, and it's absolutely true, and I see it with clients. And I had to manage this for myself, believe me. And I'm not an angel. <laughs> I'm sure you didn't, guys didn't think I was, but just in case anybody's thinking that I am, I'm not an angel. And I have, I have fallen from my own I, Christian ideals and Christian beliefs. I'm not here preaching to you as the white-driven snow, okay? But I've seen guys that really, um, really are enticed by this sin and fall 
for the, for this. And they go for girl after girl after girl. And I want to share with you that if a man is really serious about his intent to marry and to marry a quality lady and have a great life together, you cannot be chasing tail, young tail at the same time. I'll speak more directly now, okay? Because that young tail, when you're getting it, it will prevent the lion in you from chasing a girl that you could catch. Because that young tail, it's just catch and release, right? Let's call a spade a spade. It's not catch and keep. It's temporary. It might seem fun while you're at it. It might feed your ego. might feed, you know, all of these great things. As Dr. Lipton said, the, uh, the real enticing part of that is when you're pursuing, when a man is kind of pursuing that young tail, it flips the 5% that you're actually living life aware in this, um, in this um, uh, amygdala, in the, uh, in, the, uh, in the conscious mind. Normally it's only 5% and it's 95% living life in the subconscious mind. That flips on itself when you're chasing love, you know? And so it's 95% now you're living the conscious mind. So that chasing love or chasing what, what, we, what we as men feel is love then, because love and sex to men are very tightly connected as much as you think it's, you might think it's not. It's more connected than you might think. So it's very, um, and plus all of the, the chemistry that's firing in your blood when you're chasing that young woman, okay? But it's just, I don't want you to delude yourself to think that you can chase or even occasionally have that young tail, okay? And be chasing a woman that's realistic and reasonable and possible for you at the same time. And I've seen clients try. And uh, listen, my clients, most of my clients become friends. So they tell me their antics, you know, their evening antics, what they're up to. And guess what? Not a one of them, not a one of them that, she, that I'm aware of, their evening antics, uh, shall we just call, um, that are doing that kind of activity. Not one of them got married. Not one of them. And that's the price. That's the consequence. And I want to share um, a friend of mine. And I, I'm, I'm, I'm speak because um, this, this guy is actually my friend. He speaks fluent Russian. Um, he's quite well off. And he's got six pack abs. And he's mid 30s. So he's kind of like the perfect ideal bachelor, if you will. So he has the opportunity to sow his oats. Um, but, you know, after, I can say after seven years, and 150 dates, 150 women, um, I don't know how many he slept with. I, I wouldn't ask and I don't guess or whatever. But, um, you know, men are men, right? Men can't bullshit men. Right, guys? Um, if you've been at it for seven years, you lived in Ukraine for most of those years, um, and you got 150 on your notch, on your belt notch, dating, whatever. Um, he... He's a Christian brother and he cannot find his wife. Yeah, he, he, and the thing is, we very easily delude ourselves. We, we lie to ourselves and, 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 but the thing is, after having a high body count or a notch count on your belt, as a man or as a woman, your ability to pair bond is radically compromised. And, even can you even fall in love after that? Because you're always trying to piece together the perfect woman, the perfect mate, the perfect wife, the perfect mother, all of these criteria, you know, and you lie, you end up because it's a slippery slope. You don't realize you're sliding down the slope until guess what? It's too late. At some point, it becomes too late. So I caution all men especially Christian brothers. You want from women a low body count. I know you, that's what you want. Do you think they don't want that from you? And that's not even the point here. The point is 
The point is, I just don't want you to delude yourself to think that you can go around, sleep around, go from country to country, play around, you know, and when you're ready, settle down and find that perfect woman for you, that perfect wife. It ain't going to happen. I'm here to tell you, it ain't going to happen. It ain't going to happen. Heed my words. Heed my warning. Okay. I don't want to see your life ruined like Mr. X. And he may watch this video. And that's okay. I would tell him this to his face. He already knows what I think.